So here's a note to help with the next example. So if you're given d2 over dx squared and supposing you wanted to calculate y, so we need to integrate d2 over dx squared to work out to dy over dx and then we need to integrate dy over dx again to work out y. So we'll need these points for the next example, example 5. So the question being, find y as a function of x given that d2 over dx squared and that is given to us as 4 minus 6x and that when x equals 2 dy over dx is minus 4 and y equals 7. So the values x equals 2, dy over dx as minus 4 and y is equal to 7, these are the values that we're going to be using in order to work out the integration constants. So back to the paper and pen. So here is the information that we have. So in step number 1, step number 1 is we need to calculate dy over dx using d2 over dx squared. So remember, to work out dy over dx, you need to integrate d2y by dx squared with respect to x. So we have d2 over dx squared that's been given to us as 4 minus 6x. So we need to integrate 4 minus 6x with respect to x. So when I integrate 4, it's 4x minus, when I integrate 6x, it's 6x squared divided by 2. So add 1 to the power and divide by the result. Don't forget to add a constant because you're handling an indefinite integral. So whenever you calculate an integral without limits, when you work out your integral function, add a constant c. So I can cancel the 2 with the 6, 2 goes into 6 3 times, giving me dy over dx as 4x minus 3x squared plus c. Now let's work out the value of c. So if we go back to these conditions, now I'm going to use the x value and the dy over dx value to work out the value of the integration constant. So I'm going to use the value of dy over dx as minus 4 and the value when x equals 2. So when x equals 2, the value of dy over dx is minus 4. So let's replace dy by dx by minus 4 and x by 2 here to give me dy over dx, which is minus 4 on the left, that is equal to 4 into x which is 2 minus the 3 into x which is 2 squared plus the c at the end. Now if I multiply out the brackets minus 4 on the left hand side is equal to 4 times 2 which is 8. 2 squared is 4 here okay and 4 times the 3 is 12 plus the c at the end. Now if I rearrange, 8 minus 12 is minus 4. So if I rearrange from here, the C value is 0. So we have our constant of integration C as 0. Now let's replace C by 0 in this equation here to give us dy over dx. That is equal to 4x minus 3x squared and the c value replaced by 0. Now if we go back to the screenshot, remember to work out y, now we need to integrate dy over dx with respect to x. So if we go back to the paper and pen, we have dy over dx, so in this case let's go to the next step. To work out y, we need to integrate dy over dx with respect to x. So dy over dx we have, it's 4x minus 3x squared. Let's integrate that with respect to x. So if I replace dy by dx here, we're integrating 4x minus 3x squared with respect to x. And let's integrate, when I integrate 4x, it's 4x squared divided by 2. When I integrate 3x squared, it's 3x cubed 
divide by 3 plus another constant, I'm going to use the letter D, since this constant and the previous constant are two different terms. So it's best to use a different letter. You can use any letter you like. So I'm going to use any letter um, which is different to the one that I've used before. So let's simplify. 2 goes into 4 twice. These two threes can be cancelled out to give us 2x squared minus the x cubed plus d. So this is the solution for y with the constant d. Now to work out d, let's refer to these values. So let's use the x and the y values in order to work out the value of this constant d. So the x value is 2, the y value is 7. So if I use these values, so when x equals 2, y equals 7. So if I replace 2 and 7 for x and y into y, so y is 2x squared minus x cubed plus d. So let me copy that down. So y is 2x squared minus x cubed plus d. So upon replacement of x and y, we're going to have y, which is 7, that is equal to 2, x being 2, squared, minus x, which is 2, cubed, plus d at the end. If we expand the brackets, so 7 on the left will be 2 squared, which is 4, times 2 being 8, minus 2 cubed, also 8, plus d. The plus and minus 8 can cancel, so I make the d value 7. So the constant d is 7, so finally replace d by 7 here to give us y is equal to 2x squared minus dx cubed plus d being 7. So this should be the solution to example 5.